Good morning, everybody. Today I'm going to discuss with you something that really, really should be on everybody's mind in the United States. It is a simple fact that once you are into your 80s, you slow down. You can't help it. It happens. And the political field is relentless. You have leaders from all over the world that are just out to get what they can from the United States. And the person that is making those decisions must be on their top. If they're not, things are going to go downhill like they are right now. Here are some examples. They are just (laughs) unbelievable. Think about who you're voting for. And now we have a man who had a stroke. The stroke is a devastating thing. I wouldn't wish that upon anybody. However, he starts a debate this way. Political experience includes serving as the mayor of Braddock, a small borough near Pittsburgh and one term as lieutenant governor. You're running for a seat that could decide the balance of power in Washington. What qualifies you to be a U.S. Senator? You have 60 seconds. Hi, good night, everybody. And now for Maxine Waters. Maxine Waters is delusional at best, abusive, At worst, she is 84 years old, 6 months and 13 days. Now my mother would be barely older than her, and I'm 70. I mean, she's, she is flippy and freaky because of her age at best. So let's look at how she handles her situation. And then we have Ch- Chuck Grasley. He's going to be 90 September 17th. Now, everybody there loves to talk about their grandparents and everything. But 90 years old, he's making decisions that will affect everybody in the United States. He is past his prime. There is something wrong with us keeping on voting in a 90-year-old man. Sorry. And now, just recently, Mitch McConnell, in the middle of a sentence, gets confused, gets lost, and has to be basically helped off the stage. He's 81 years old. The stress is unbelievable on this job. Do we really want him in the office? After finishing the NDA uh, this week, been good bipartisan cooperation, and a string of uh, uh, Here's Diane Feinstein being wheeled in in a wheelchair after months of not being at the Senate floor, totally unaware that she's even been missing. Yeah. I have a problem with the leg. The leg? Yes. 
What's wrong with it? Well, no, nothing. Nothing. Just anyone's concerned. Okay. But mine. Um, what is the response from your colleagues been like? What have the well wishes? What have you heard? What have I heard about what? About your return. How have they felt about your no, return? No, I haven't been gone. Okay. Um, you should follow them. I haven't been gone. I've been working. You've been working from home, is what you're saying? No, I've been here. Um, I've been voting. Please. Either. Then lastly, but not least, our president. Who thinks he's going to run for four more years? Don't we have anybody better than him and Trump to run against, uh, um, to be elected? This man is here claiming that he's cured cancer, among his other so many flops. Please, people, wake up. We do not need a president or a senator or a House of Representatives that doesn't know they're even on the planet Earth. Thank you. Cancer as we know it. Deliver on our sacred obligations to veterans. The second thing I think is critically important.